So I don't know if you noticed this yet, but the audio quality in my recent YouTube videos has gotten so much better. Now don't worry, I'm gonna make a full comprehensive tutorial on how to actually get much better audio in your studio. But in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a different type of microphone called the Deity D4 Duo. And it comes in this little case right here. Looks weird, doesn't it? Well, it's the first microphone of its kind to hit the market. It's actually two capsules in one, meaning that you can get audio from the front of the mic and from the back. So for those of you who like to vlog a lot, well, you're gonna get crisp audio regardless of the orientation of the camera. The mic itself is made out of aluminum. It doesn't feel cheap, but it's abnormally lightweight. I'm not used to a microphone weighing this little. We also get inputs and outputs. Obviously the output will go right into your camera, but the input actually allows you to hook up another mic to this one, so you can actually use this mic and another one simultaneously. So if you're vlogging and you wanna pick up ambient sounds and you want to lab yourself up, you can easily do that with this microphone. Included in this kit, along with the case, we do get a shock mount, which absorbs vibration, and we get two wind muffs, one smaller than the other. The smaller one will fit on the back and the larger one will fit on the front. And on top of that, we actually have a little mode switcher, which will allow us to get either audio from the front or we can use both of the mics at the same time. Now, luckily I got a chance to test out these wind muffs outside in a really windy day in Los Angeles. So here's a little clip of my friend vlogging with this mic. Hi everyone, Golan Eric here in windy Los Angeles, California. And I just wanted to let you know that quality over quantity always matters, especially when it comes to microphones. Follow that my was, channel. Yeah, definitely follow Golan's channel. <laughs> talk, I'm just kidding. Talk about the size of the mic though. The mic is like this big and it has like fuzzies on it. <laughs> Can you tell me like the actual terms of like what to say? It's called know. a wind muff. So the wind muff, the wind muff and it's windy outside. Wind and wind equals good quality microphone. Microphone, can you get a drone oh, on this microphone? All right, I'm gonna have to stop this. <laughs> so even though that was a ridiculous clip, you probably got a good idea of how this microphone performs outside using these wind muffs when it's very windy outside. And you actually got a little pickup of my voice using the rear capsule on this microphone. So right now I'm using the Deity V-Mic D3 Pro to capture my audio but I'm gonna swap that mic out with this one and you let me know if you think that this mic can be used in a studio setting. All right, <laughs> can you hear me? How's the audio? Let me bring in the mic a little bit closer. Can you hear me? This microphone is way shorter than the V-Mic D3 Pro. So here's the mic that I was using to record the previous audio that you heard. I've been using this microphone a lot with the Hollyland Lark 150. Great system. It really eliminates the need for me to use a long annoying cable to go directly into my camera and it eliminates the need for me to use my zoom recorder. So that's a great little setup there. I'll make a tutorial on how to connect all of that together. So let me know what you think about the audio quality of this microphone by commenting below and I'll be quiet so that way you can hear the noise. Ready in three, two, one. So let me know if you heard a lot of noise in that quick little moment of silence. Again, this microphone is larger. It's meant to pick up audio from a longer range. And the mic that I'm currently recording this audio with, which is the D4 Duo, a lot shorter. So you might hear a little bit more echo. It might not be as loud as this one. So I just want to see if I could use this mic in a studio setting. So a few things about this microphone, which I kind of like and don't like. Well, for one thing, the shock mount, I noticed that it droops forward a little bit too much. So that's something you have to consider. And also I really wish there was a gain knob. There is no battery built into this microphone. So I understand that there's no preamp in this, but it would be nice to have that feature and possibly a version two of this microphone because to have a preamp in a microphone, it's very important. It gives you more control and you get less of a noise floor. But overall, this is a very powerful microphone and I strongly recommend it for those of you who shoot a lot of run and gun stuff and for those of you that vlog a lot. So if you're interested in this mic, check out the link down below and I'll see you in another video. Peace.